Hey guys, welcome to Rick's vlog. Today I got an update for you guys on the tank. I don't know if you saw the last video. If you don't know, this is my Fluvo 13.5 uh, gallon uh, reef tank. I set up, I've, have, I've had it, what, maybe six, six months now, maybe? Around there. Uh, so, uh, let me just give you a quick update. Um, so apparently I had a really bad outbreak of, uh, I'm thinking it was a marine velvet on my last, uh, the last time. I did have, I had a clown, a damsel, and a uh, mandarin goby, or as you know, it's like a mandarin dragonette. So I had that fish. Uh, apparently I bought, you know, everything was going fine. I bought two snails. I bought two more turbo snails because I wanted to get the glass cleaned up a little bit more, you know, with the algae presence coming out every day. And since I have the lights on for about eight hours a day, uh, it was getting really bad. So I went to the my local pet store um, on Sunday. On Sundays, they have uh, specials. Sorry, let me adjust myself. On Sundays, they have specials. So if you go in on Sunday, you get 25% off your purchase. Uh, but any marine or any animal that they get on Sunday, so they, they come, it still comes in the bag from wherever their warehouse, you know, whoever ships them out. So they mostly they all come from the wild, unfortunately. But uh, I mean, it's a way to run a business there. So uh, they do a great job. I mean, they get new animals every Sunday and every Sunday they offer the 25% off. Uh, although you don't know what you're getting because obviously it comes from the ocean. So I bought these two turbo snails and just cause I wanted the glass cleaned up. And unfortunately the turbo snails maybe came with the case of uh, marine velvet attached to them. Uh, cause as soon as I put them in the tank, all my fish were sick, all of them. They all started getting white spots on the tails and the next thing you know, it was on the body. And before you know it, the whole fish was covered in marine velvet. Uh, so I took the fish out uh, to put them in my quarantine tank, which I have over there and Unfortunately, none of the fish None of the fish made it none of them so uh, I had to stop I had a restart uh, I took out Obviously all the fish died. So just left the tank by itself uh, I've added a couple things here and there uh, since I can't buy any fish because I buy fish they're all gonna get contaminated uh, so I bought some stuff from the store from the same pet store and I went Sunday and they had they had a uh, feather duster worm so I picked that up uh, on, you know Sundays is 25% off so it's, it's a, it was a great deal it's like 10 bucks uh, I picked up a hammer coral I don't know if I had it on my last video but this hammer coral is beautiful, beautiful. And it's darn beautiful. I love this thing. It was real small when I got it. Uh, obviously it wasn't uh, liking being shipped around. So it was real small. I was kind of worried. I was like, man, this thing is tiny. It's gonna be, it's gonna take forever to grow. But as soon as I brought it home, uh, it expanded. As you can see right here, it's just two. And this thing expanded and it looks beautiful. Love this thing. Uh, I bought, uh, what else did I get? I did get a porcelain crab. I don't know if you guys can see it here in the video. I'll zoom into it right now. But I bought a porcelain crab and it hosted the anemone immediately. I loved it. Um, I still have my pom pom crab in there. And uh, finally, yesterday, uh, I you know, figured it was long enough to get fish inside the tank. And just to be sure, just to be sure that I wasn't gonna kill my fish, I got, um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this, it's called Rally by Ruby Reef. I use about one ounce per 10 gallons. This thing is 13.5, so I opted using a little bit more than the ounce, but that's all I use. So I've been doing the treatment for the last two days now, started yesterday, and hopefully that will prevent any more parasites from invading this tank. So I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, for Amazon. So if you guys wanna pick this up and it's safe for all of invertebrates, uh, it's safe for um, 
safe for coral, safe for invertebrates, and uh, safe for fish. So, and it cures, well, it, it you know, it cures a host of treat, a uh, host of things. So, including uh, bacterial infections, fin rot, uh, gill, gill flukes, and marine parasites, like example, marine velvet. So, this thing uh, does a good job at keeping those pests away. So let me zoom in here so you guys can see uh, the new stuff. So as you can see right there, there is the porcelain crab. Right there. He's, he's beautiful, he's hosting the anemone. Uh, so far the clowns that I got haven't fought or anything for the anemone which is great so that's a good thing so that's the porcelain crab if I move over here see the hammer coral nice and beautiful and huge hugely see if I put the blue light on oh my god this one is gorgeous so that's with the regular light and the feather duster worm right there right in the middle it's nice and beautiful as well I opted with the multiple colors versus just white and black. Uh, and, you know, like my other creatures that are in the tank, got my zoanthids right here in the corner, as well as the urchin, which is carrying those zoanthids around. And back here on the bottom, there's another zoanthid that fell off this uh, stick that was on the top. See that stick right there? So they fell off of there, thanks to the urchin, because it just ripped them off. And they fell over there in the back somewhere. And right there, if you guys look closely, there's a peppermint shrimp. But this guy's really shy. He doesn't come out hardly ever. Um, so he's, he's just there. He just hangs out in the back over there. And the reason I got the peppermint shrimp is that I started noticing small aptasia coming out of this particular stick. So I fault myself for buying this one because I just saw it and I saw the zoanthids on it and I was like, man, this thing's beautiful. But if you can see right in the middle, right in the middle of the frame, there is a small, small anemone, a pest anemone that I don't want in the tank. So, and so yeah, I'm, I bought that peppermint shrimp so you can eat those uh, so far he uh, hasn't done a good job because obviously he's just laying there in the bottom right there it's kind of hard to see so yeah so that's the tank update guys uh, as far as the fish goes I got two uh, percula clownfish and these things are nice uh, I bought these two be, uh, because when I saw them at the my local pet store um, or my local fish store uh, they were already kind of bonded and I like the fact that they were bonded because it reduces the stress on the fish. So as I bring them home, I can throw them in the tank, uh, throw the ruby reef in there. And if they do have any parasites, uh, that ruby reef will take care of that. And not only that, but since they're a pair, they're already comfortable with each other and they can reduce the stress on each other, which is very good. I don't have to worry about them catching any, um, any more sicknesses or you know, or being vulnerable for sickness. And they're doing very well, doing very well. So I still got my Aquatic Life uh, skimmer. Right now it is off. The reason why it's off is because I have the Ruby Reef in there. And if you're running Ruby Reef on your tank, you don't wanna have your skimmer on and you don't wanna have any carbon filtration. And I have done that. So I haven't put any carbon filtration and I'm not running my skimmer at the moment. But so far, uh, the tank is great. I got my Nasaria snails in there, turning up the sand bed, which is great. Uh, my uh, emerald crab, which eats everything that gets disposed of on the bottom of the tank, which is good. It el eliminates a lot of uh, cleaning. And yeah, that's so far so good. I got my thermometer here. I got a one of those little sticky on, stick on ones on the glass, but they don't work very well. So I got an internal thermometer 
and I was checking my salinity two days ago. I forgot I left it in there, and now it's built up with all kinds of crud in there, so I gotta clean that out. So yeah, just the, this is the update for the tank. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the, the setup here. Uh, it's not big, 13.5, but it's very relaxing. It's very comforting as uh, when, you know, when I come home from a stressful time at work or if I'm having a bad day, I'll sit back, look at this thing, and I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better. This thing is, is beautiful. I love staring at it. I'll sit down right here on the floor and I'll stare at this baby for for maybe an hour or so and you know, I just admire of what life is like in the ocean, you know? Too bad they're in my box here, but as you know, I like to provide um, a nice living environment and I take care of my fish. I take care of my, uh, my aquatic life. So that's the good thing. Alrighty guys, uh, I hope you liked this video. If you guys uh, have any comments or questions about it, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Uh, but till next time, peace.